The Grumman F9F was the first jet fighter produced by Grumman. It was the first successful carrier-based jet fighter of the U.S. Navy, and was used extensively in the Korean War. In April 1946, the U.S. Navy issued a contract to Grumman for two G-75 prototype aircraft. The G-75 had just lost the competition for a jet-powered night fighter to the Douglas F-3D Sky Knight, but two prototypes were ordered in case the Sky Knight would run into problems. The prototypes were designated XF-9F1. The G-75 was not successful, but the G-75 contract was not cancelled. Instead it was adjusted to include three prototypes of the G-79, which was a different design. The prototype G-79s used the Rolls-Royce Nene turbojet, but production aircraft was to use a Nene built under license by Pratt & Whitney as the J-42. This would later be changed to the Pratt & Whitney J-48P2, which was a license-built version of the Rolls-Royce RB-44 tray. The G-79 had permanently mounted wingtip fuel tanks, which also improved the rate of roll. The first prototype flew for the first time November 21, 1947. The aircraft type was designated the F-9F and given the name Panther. In September 1949, the Panther became cleared for carrier use. The F-9F was armed with four 20mm guns, and was eventually also fitted with underwing air-to-ground rockets as well as bombs. During the Korean War, the Panther became both the U.S. Navy's and the U.S. Marine Corps' primary jet fighter and ground attack aircraft. Navy Panthers flew over 78,000 sorties during the war, before being withdrawn from frontline service in 1956. The Panther remained in service with the U.S. Naval Air Reserve and the U.S. Marine Air Reserve until 1958. A few Panthers remained in service into the 1960s. The F-9F Panther also served in the Argentine Naval Aviation, where it saw combat in the 1963 Argentine Navy Revolt. The Panther was retired from use in Argentine in 1969. In total, 1,382 Panthers were produced.